On July 29th, 2015, Microsoft released Windows 10 to the public. Today, five years later, we'll be comparing Windows 10 version 1507, which was the first public release of Windows 10, to the most current public release of Windows 10, Windows 10 version 2004. Now the Windows installer, which is the thing you see when you boot off of the USB, is the same on Windows 10 version 1507 and Windows 10 version 2004. The only thing that's changed is the end user license agreement and the copyright date. So let's skip ahead to the out of box experience. The out of box experience on Windows 10 version 1507 looks very similar to what you would see on Windows 8.1. Everything is more towards the left side of the display and not centered like it is on newer versions of the out of box experience. Also, there are less options in the 1507 out of box experience. As I said earlier, the animations are identical to the animations found in the Windows 8.1 out of box experience and the background color is a very light blue. However, on the Windows 10 version 2004's out of box experience, it immediately asks us for a keyboard layout as well as our language. So instead of things being positioned towards the left of the display, they are now centered as we can see here. There is now an option to set up your computer with a microphone instead of having to click through everything. So you could say, connect to my Wi-Fi, and then say the password. This is really convenient when you don't have a keyboard and mouse plugged in. However, this feature is very annoying on Windows 10 Home when you boot up your computer for the first time and Cortana starts asking you to talk to it. Let's compare the lock screens. On Windows 10 version 1507, at first glance, not much looks like it's changed. However, when we press the spacebar or swipe up on the lock screen, this is where we can see things change. You can see the background with no blur effect, and the profile picture is dark gray. Clicking on the network connection, we can see it pops out of the side like it would on Windows 8.1, and power also looks more like a combination of Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 with this weird off-brand font. Clicking sign in, it loads perfectly normally into our desktop. Now on Windows 10 version 2004, the only thing we see different is the background. However, when we swipe up, the background now has a blur effect, network is more condensed, the ease of access looks the same, but power looks much better than it did on 1507. Now we can talk about the start menu. Clicking on the start menu, we can now see our live tiles, as well as most used and access to file explorer, settings, power options, and all apps. By default on 1507, all apps are not shown and it's just most used. Right clicking on start menu entries brought up a menu that looked like it should belong in a Windows beta build. Clicking on all apps brings us a list of all of the apps installed on our computer. Now we can right click on these things and see this horrible context menu as well as scroll through all of our apps. You'll notice that the area for all of our apps is smaller than it is on 2004. On Windows 10 version 2004, clicking on the start menu brings up a very much improved start menu. Instead of having an all apps option, all apps are now shown where most used used to be. In my opinion, this is a much better system compared to what we had in 1507. File Explorer, Settings, and Power have been condensed to the left side of the Start menu, and you can customize this side to have pretty much whatever you want. Right-clicking on Live Tiles, we can now see we have more options, as well as a much more refined context menu than we did on version 1507, and in my personal opinion, this looks much better, and the background of the Start menu is now transparent, and it's more transparent than version 1507. In my opinion, this start menu should have shipped with Windows 10 originally, however, it didn't. Now let's take a look at the taskbar. Cortana was integrated with Windows Search, and in my opinion, this was a horrible decision, but they have since removed this in favor of a separate Cortana window with a dedicated button that can be removed. And Windows Search is now just a search for the web and Windows. The Action Center button on Windows 10 version 1507 is to the left of the time instead of being on the right. There are also way less options inside of Action Center, Action Center is more transparent on 1507 than it is on 2004, and the font is just really weird on Action Center. Action Center now has a bigger dedicated button on the right side of the time instead of the left. It is less transparent and has more options inside of the control panel at the bottom. We can now take a look at the tray icons that fly out. Clicking on the calendar, we can see we have time and date settings, as well as a very transparent background and our July 2020 calendar. Clicking on volume, we can see that it pretty much looks identical to the volume indicator on Windows 10 2004, which necessarily isn't a bad thing. Clicking on network, we can see that it is way taller than it needs to be, and it's a lot of wasted space. 
on Windows 10 2004, a lot of these things are fixed. As we can see, network no longer wastes as much space as it did. Volume, as I said, does look pretty much the same as it did on Windows 10 version 1507, which isn't a bad thing. And Calendar is much taller, and it has lost time and date settings, but it does have appointments on the bottom, as well as this really cool glow effect behind your cursor. Timeline, or Task View, on Windows 10 version 1507 brought up all of our current open windows as well as the option to create a new desktop on the bottom. These desktops could not be renamed, however they would be called desktop 1 and 2 or whatever number the desktop is. As I said it is on the bottom of the display and all the task view button would do would organize all of our windows into one view and allow us to switch desktops. As well as getting a new icon, it got a total overhaul on Windows 10 version 2004. Now, there's a timeline of everything you've done on your computer, such as what files you've seen, as well as what websites you've visited. You can add new desktops, which has been moved to the top of the display, and you can also rename these desktops to stuff like personal, work, and school. Everyone can admit that the settings app on the first version of Windows 10 was a mess. As we can see, there's only 9 entries on the default Windows 10 settings app, and it looks very childish. This is obviously more designed to be a touchscreen application. We can see that the bar on the left side does not have any transparency or any icons. We can also see that there's a bar at the top to be able to search all of our settings. In theory, Microsoft thought this would be a good alternative to Control Panel, but in reality, it just made Control Panel look even better than it was. While settings is still not perfect on Windows 10, it is much better than it ever was before. More options have been brought over from Control Panel, there are now icons next to the bar on the left side, the bar on the left side is transparent, and there is no bar at the top. More options have been brought to Control Panel as I said, and overall everything is more detailed and it looks much better. Microsoft Edge on Windows 10 version 1507 was supposed to be the Internet Explorer killer, but in reality Internet Explorer in my opinion was still better. Things did not run as well on Microsoft Edge as they would on Chrome or Internet Explorer, and Edge overall looked like a mess. It was very flat, there was no transparency, and it just was not very appealing to the user. The new version of Microsoft Edge is based off of open source Chromium and runs much better. We're very glad that Windows has decided to take this route, because otherwise if we would have stuck with the old Edge, it would be a mess. Let's take a look at some pre-installed apps. On Windows 10 version 1507, Windows Defender looks like it was ripped straight out of Windows 7, and it does have a lot of those arrow components, such as the green computer. Windows Defender has turned into Windows Security, which is much more of an antivirus than Windows Defender ever was, and I would highly trust this as my only antivirus on my machine. It looks much more like Windows 10, and it runs much better. The Windows Store on version 1507 was actually one of the better Windows 10 apps, but comparing it to what it is now, I would say the newer one is much better than the one on 1507. Now, there are a lot of UI changes, but let's not forget about the new features. We have Windows Subsystem for Linux, Clipboard History, Emoji Panel, in addition to monitor your GPU and Task Manager, as well as sk Snip and Sketch as a replacement to Snipping Tool. Windows 10 is still not perfect. However, comparing Windows 10 version 2004 to Windows 10 version 1507, 1507 looks like a Windows beta. Speaking of Windows betas, if you would like to see the history of Windows 10's betas, please click on my video in the iCard about that, as I did a video comparing all of the Windows 10 betas. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content, and I'll see you all in the next one.